welcome back to tube we have Amal again from in-depth tech reviews and in today's video i'm going to show you even more features and the changes in android 12 beta 5 but before starting let me remind you that my amazon affiliate and wallpaper links are in the description below so without further ado let's jump in now i have beta 4.1 on the right and the beta 5 is on the left the first change is in the always on display now the clock is smaller and shifted towards the bottom compared to 4.1 I didn't see this change immediately after installing beta 5, but after one day, this is what happened. But when you go to the lock screen, you will see the two clocks are almost the same size. And that makes the transition between the lock screen and the always on display more noticeable on beta 5. So let me show you this. In my previous video, I talked about the new position of the padlock icon, which is a little bit towards the top. Now the clock is also shifted towards the bottom, and I didn't see this change right after installing beta 5. Now let's talk about the home screen, and now the Google Lens shortcut is showing in the search bar. Tapping on it will open the app right away. And when you go to the wallpaper and the style app, you will see another small tweak here. When you go to the change wallpaper and then go to the same wallpaper category, you will see the currently set wallpaper has a text sign and instead of using this circular thumbnail. Now let's talk about some new behaviors in how Material U recolors your widgets on the home screen. To show you this, now I have a wallpaper that contains three different colors and my clock widget is using the blue color. But if I decided to move my widget to a different spot, now it's using a different color to match this part of my wallpaper. And when it comes to the digital clock widgets now when i move it to a different spot you will see the same behavior as well and now it's time for today's sponsor this video is sponsored by cdkeoffers.com it's an online digital store that sells original windows 10 and the office keys in a very discounted price not only this but you can use my special promo code id20 to get extra 20 percent discount as you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $15.55, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about some changes I spotted in the widgets. The first one, when you go to the widgets picker and then expand the clock widgets, you will see the analog one is always moving in the widget picker. And also when you go to the wallpaper and the style app, even in the preview page, it will be moving as well. Next, the multi-clock widget supports vertical orientation when you set the right size. As you see here, I have two clocks added, but when I change the size and make it a little bit bigger, it will change to horizontal orientation. But when I make it smaller, it will be vertical. Also, if I have it only set to one line and then start to expand, it will be in horizontal orientation. But once I make it bigger it will change to vertical back again so you can play around until you make it the orientation you want and as a workaround if you are missing the weather information on your home screen due to the beta 5 bug you can simply go to widgets and then expand google app you will see the at a glance widget right here so you can add it to your home screen and it will show you exactly the same information the only difference i see between the two is in the font on beta 5 it's smaller and thinner now let's talk about some random changes all over the os and the first one is in the status bar the indicators on the right are now shifted a little bit towards the left plus you will see a different icon if you don't have internet on your phone but the icon will remain the same in the quick settings area on beta 5 you will see a brand new alarm screen if your phone is locked first the clock itself is much bigger plus it will show you this hint that you need to swipe left or right to stop or snooze your alarm it's also using text indicators instead of the icons plus the am and the pm indicators are not showing you will also see different animations when you stop or snooze your alarm and on beta 5 the dismiss button is now called stop next the phone app I didn't get material use support yet, however, when I go to the keypad, now I have a pill-shaped call button instead of the circular one. Also, the call controls in the notification shade are now using different colors. And when you tap on the buttons, you will also see different colors. Next, nearby share got a new card when you tap on it from the quick settings area. First, the card is much smaller and it gives you even more options to choose from. From here, you can immediately change your device visibility, which is something you can't do from here unless you tap on the settings button. Also, the settings button has been moved from the top right corner to the bottom right corner for easier reach. And you have another button here called the close instead of the X on the top left corner. Nearby share also got a very exciting feature, which is the ability to share one or more files with 
with up to four different users. I don't have more than two phones to show you how it works, but as per XDA developers, when you tap on one user and they still have other devices around, you still can tap on them and the system will automatically put them in a queue and send the files to each one after the other, which means the files will not be shared simultaneously, but at least you don't have to do the same step over and over again for each and every user. So I'm going to drop the link for XDA developers article in the description below. Now let's talk about the apps that will get material you very soon. As per a blog post on Google Workspace updates, a lot of apps are scheduled to get material you very soon, starting with Gmail, Google Meet, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Docs and the Slides, and also Google Calendar. Some users also reported that Material U for the phone app started to roll out on their devices. So I'm going to keep an eye on them to share the new changes with you. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the new features and the changes I missed in my previous video. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted anything extra. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.